Okay, folks, let's go ahead and continue our design. And in this lesson, we're going to be creating uh, this motion. This exactly this motion. So we basically go ahead and move our camera, okay, this way. And actually, we rotate this middle section here. So if I take a look and hit play again, there we go. That's what we're going to be recreating. And uh, not this small cubes yet. We're going to be doing it in the next lesson. But for the moment, you can see, we can simply go ahead and create this okay so let's go ahead and do that uh, the first thing I wanted to kind of uh, change and uh, kind of uh, uh, work on it is the uh, basic uh, we can actually go ahead and animate the camera you can see we got this camera and it's kind of you know working fine but uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, moving this uh, master controller I don't want it to kind of stay completely still as we kind of uh, move this, I want uh, to have kind of some sort of motion. Uh, so this is when we kind of move it and rotate it very severely at about frame 100. And about frame 140, we want to kind of rotate it to this other side, okay? So let me go ahead and uh, kind of change it really uh, small so it has some small motion all the time. So let's go to maybe frame 140, about here. So let's go ahead and do some very basic maybe changes, just maybe something like this to maybe make it nicer. Or let's go ahead and maybe decide a bit. Let's go ahead and uh, create a keyframe for the position and for the rotations. And just uh, a very simple, small movement so we don't stay still all the time. Okay, then I'm going to frame 140 and uh, about maybe 10, 15 frame. We're going to maybe 150 here. And let's go ahead and uh, change some of the values for this guy. So let's go to frame 140, or 50, so it's 10 frame. And uh, let's select this master controller. Let's maybe kinda uh, get back a bit and let's, it down somehow and let's go to our Z and kind of get to this side about maybe uh, something like this would be enough because we're going to kind of uh, rotate it so let's go ahead and kind of rotate it to this side something like 60 65 degrees would be enough and let's go ahead maybe negative 170 and let's go ahead maybe go to something like negative 4 so this is kinda good if I go ahead and take a look we are having this motion so boom perfect now we're going to uh, add other motions so it's not gonna stay that you know quick boom sudden stop we're gonna actually uh, remove that but for the moment, let's go ahead and animate this uh, middle section here. So let's go ahead and what we want to do about frame 142, I think it's good. So let's go to 142. I'm going to get out of the camera and I'm going to select the cubes that are here. So let's go ahead and hold on shift and select them. So we're basically uh, doing our first Rubik's motion here. So let's go ahead and select all of these cubes and the cube that is in the center is cube number 13. Well, let's make sure we got the right selection. Perfect. And uh, let's go ahead and animate this guy's rotation. So let's go ahead and select all of the rotation. And uh, okay, so we have this motion at the moment. So let's go to 142, I guess it's enough. I'm going to animate this guys. Let's actually get back to our camera. And about 15 frame, I think it's gonna be enough. So let's go to 157. And we're going to rotate this guys. If I get back here, just make sure you got the right selection. And we're going to rotate them, you see. So let's go to one. Five, seven, and if you rotate them, you can see it's gonna be problematic. Let's get out of the camera and just make sure we have the right 
selection here and I'm going to rotate these guys 90 degrees see uh, it's kind of problematic let's see uh, what we have selected a wrong we might have a wrong selection here that's why it's gonna stay uh, let's see what we are going to select if I move these guys you're definitely changing some other things let's go ahead and uh, make sure we have the right selection here again mm, everything looks to be fine and if I go ahead and rotate them sorry uh, they are as you can see they're fine okay so let's go ahead and um, go to frame one five seven and let's start selecting these cubes again uh, let's see cube number 13 and get back to the camera there we go and let's rotate them about 90 degrees okay and let's go ahead and set a keyframe for them so this is what we're gonna get I think the camera motion should kinda start a bit later the master null motion so I'm going to put these guys to maybe if I get closer here to about maybe here so it starts then the camera moves perfect and okay so if you take a look this is what we have at the moment and perfect now we're going to be creating this uh, other motion where the small cubes kind of create this cube here and we're going to be doing that in our next lesson so I'll see you there